martinis and menopause tribe. Today I want to talk to you about affirmations. And if you've read my book, in chapter 3, there's a character, her name is Elaine, and she's suffering from the basement blues. She doesn't feel good, she feels very low, and doesn't know what to do about it. And there are a few strategies in the book, but one of them is to use affirmations. Well, what are affirmations? They're simply statements that we put out into the world of how we would like to be in the world or what we would like to see in the world. And there are three things that make up an affirmation. First of all, they need to be in the present tense. I am. I will. It also needs to be in the positive. For example, you wouldn't say, I'm going to lose the weight. That's a negative, the word lose. It's better to say something like, I am fit and healthy. I am reaching my goals. So, the third thing that an affirmation needs to be is specific. Instead of saying, I hope I feel better, you want to say, today, I'm going to live my best self. Today, I'm going to rock it, my world. So affirmations are best if you speak them out loud. They're really great if you write them down where you can see them throughout the day because they really help rewire your brain into a positive state. I have affirmations every day when I walk into my office. I have an affirmation and it's I am effing fabulous. So every single day when I walk into the office, I put my brain in that space that I am effing fabulous. And what does that mean? That I'm gonna rock my world today. And I want that for all of you. So I hope you will practice practicing positive affirmations. See you later, tribe. Till next time.